all right guys welcome back to the vlog this is episode three of the s2000 build series and today we have a very much needed upgrade it's not one that has to do with the exterior of the car which i understand we should probably be focusing on um i do have the hood pins that's probably going to be the next vlog but this is one i'm just way too excited about that i think we should do first and it involves with what's in this box so when we bought the car it didn't have the speakers in the door so we had no music on the drive back and well i figured let's put some new speakers in so i ordered some jvc speakers we have them already but while i was at it i wasn't a big fan of the head unit that was in this car so we decided to uh do a little bit of research and actually found they do make a single din apple carplay radio that is touchscreen and that's what we got so that's what we're gonna go ahead and install today so enjoy but you can see this is the radio came with um some off brand i'm not even entirely sure but like we can turn the music all the way up and nothing plays so yeah let's go ahead and swap this guy out and i'll show you the new radio so here it is comes with a bunch of manuals we don't need wiring harness and some tools but this is what it looks like so it's pretty neat because it's gonna actually fit perfect as you can tell s2000s don't really have a whole lot of room for for a, a double bin so i'm super stoked to see that they actually sell one that's a single din and that should fit right in there all right, once you get to this point, what you gotta do is grab either a small flathead or a plastic trim removal tool and start prying these vents out. And that's gonna come all the way out and expose the screws that we need to take out. So we have two on that side and two over here. So once those four screws comes out, this whole thing will slide right out. And let's hope it's not a mess of wiring back there. All right, now that we got those four screws out, this will just slide right out. You can see back here, looks like everything was done decently, thankfully. So that's gonna be fun to wire in the new one. So now we're gonna go ahead and unclip this guy. And just like that, we have the old head unit out, set that down, and let's see how the new one's gonna fit. All right, now that we've got the old harness out, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull all these guys apart so that way we can wire them into the new harness, which is these guys right here. So I'm gonna put on a time lapse and uh, yeah, enjoy. All right, we got everything hooked up. Hopefully I can get the camera to focus well, but this is what it looks like. Let me turn it on. The boot to the boot screen takes a minute to come up. It takes a minute to load, but again, this was a very inexpensive radio. There we go. The interface on it is actually pretty nice. Um, it feels pretty high quality even though it was on sale we actually got this on amazon for i think was 68 dollars it had a 30 dollar off coupon and it was already 15 percent off so let's see this is what it looks like once it's loaded up we have our apps right here it feels pretty good the you know touch screen honestly feels pretty smooth it has bluetooth it's so we have themes, we can change the theme on it. Uh, there we go. We gotta, apparently for that, we gotta hook it up to the internet. So we'll set that up later. So what else do you have in here? <laughs> you have a Facebook app, so you can have Facebook on your radio. You got the Waze app, you got YouTube. You got your maps, the Play Store, Spotify. 
So yeah, it was honestly for what we paid, it was pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and uh, finish the install and um, see how it sounds like. While I was doing the setup, I realized it's not gonna hook up to Wi-Fi unless you hook up the, the 4G antenna is what it's called. It's the GPS antenna. It hooks up right there on the top side and then we'll find somewhere in here to, to tuck it in. But we can see we have our Wi-Fi right here. I'll uh, just have to put in my password and should be set to go. So the head unit th does come with these little brackets. Um, it has one of these as well that comes over it um, for those radios that are pushed and clipped in. Uh, for the S2000, since it has the holes right here, then you are gonna need these brackets. So to get access to the holes to screw these into, you actually need to take this guy completely off. We're not gonna be using that. And then from there, we'll have the brackets installed to uh, mount them to the holes right there. So let's get this put in and let's see how it looks. All right, we have it fully mounted now. Um, the brackets it came with are a little bit too tall. So what you have to do, you have to cut out the plastic piece that goes on top here. And then I uh, cut a slit into this plastic to bend upwards just to be able to get that guy in. But other than that, it's fully mounted. Let's see if we can get the plastic trim back on. That is the hope that we can make it look as factory as possible. So taking a look, it's not gonna fit with a factory trim. So what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to trim out these tabs here down along this way as well as up here just to give it the little bit of clearance it needs to uh be able to fit so let's go ahead and do that now all right once it's all trimmed out you can see that's a section off a ton up here on the sides as well as on the bottom but it fits pretty good once you do all that um but yeah let's see if we can get the door itself to fit I think that might be uh, a little bit too much though. We'll see. Yeah, the door itself won't fit, so we'll just have to run it without the radio door, which I don't mind to kind of put it that way. So that way uh, I don't have to mess with that when I'm trying to mess with the radio. But yeah, I honestly like the way it fits. Again, it's hard with the S2000 because there's just not a lot of room here for you know, your traditional double-din stereo. And I really don't like the ones that sit on top of the dash either. So I'm glad I was able to find this guy again. It was very inexpensive. Uh, these guys were 68 or 70 bucks on Amazon. So again, very inexpensive. Um, install, pretty easy up until you get to the part where you have to trim out but again if you have a you know angle grinder or even a, a dremel you should be able to trim that out pretty easily um, i will pull this back out eventually and clean this up a little bit just so that way it looks better but overall i think it's pretty sweet okay so from here let's go ahead and install the speakers so that way we can actually see how this thing sounds as you can see my s2000 came with no speakers and some janky wiring that we're gonna have to, you know, fix, but that's okay. Cause today we're gonna get that fixed and, you know, see what the radio actually sounds like in this thing. So these are the speakers I picked up for it. They're nothing special. Um, honestly, I didn't want anything that was gonna be too much bass or, you know, super wildly expensive. These were uh, $25 on Amazon and we should be able to get them to fit just right. All right, we got the speakers mounted. We got the passenger one in and the driver one. Don't mind my missing door cards. We're gonna situate that later on. So let's hear how this sounds. I already listened to some music and it sounds pretty good, but let's see if the radio on it works. Looking to grow in the beauty and barber industry? You can't miss Salt Lake's beauty and barber. For some reason, it came with Britney Spears music on, but it sounds pretty good, honestly. That's one way you can bring your S2000 to a little bit more of a modern feel with it. 
So this is a, again, an Android head unit. Um, I got to figure out how the Apple CarPlay works. I know it said it had Apple CarPlay and wireless Apple CarPlay. All right, we were actually able to get the Apple CarPlay figured out. This is actually pretty sweet. So right there you have all my Spotify stuff. Here's all the navigation stuff. So honestly, it looks pretty sweet and it flows really well. Go back to the home page. And again, this is wireless. This isn't hooked up to my phone. I don't have it plugged in or anything. This is all just a Bluetooth Apple CarPlay system. So that's actually really exciting. Uh, yeah, um, you can find these on Amazon. Just look up a single DIN um, Android radio. Um, if anything, I'll link it in the description as well. So you can go pick one up yourself. Um, they're on sale right now for like $70. And honestly, I think it's a great upgrade, uh, especially coming from this old head unit that honestly, probably worked fine but i wanted something that was a little bit more modern and i'm really happy with how this came out but if you've made it this far into the video i think it's time to give you guys a sneak preview of the new paint color now i'm not actually quite certain that i'm gonna commit to this color i really like how it looks but i'm not sure if it's the right color for the s2000 so you guys tell me uh comment down below and tell me what you think of this color if you like it then yeah let's go with it if not then i'll probably do something different so this is it this one's called dark magenta pearl so it looks way different in paint form this is just some leftover i had when i was doing the spray out cards i'll show you what it looks like on the actual spray out cards let's put it up against the sun But yeah, don't mind the massive drip I have on there. I was laying it on pretty thick. But yeah, this is what the color is supposed to look like without any clear coat. It, you can't really see it on the camera, but there is a lot of pearl in it. And it's a really pretty color. But again, I'm not entirely sure that this is very fitting for the S2000. So you guys tell me what you think. Comment down below. But yeah, that concludes today's episode. Um, again, it was not anything super exciting. Um, I know we're wanting to get closer to getting the exterior all done. Um, again, I got to install those hood pins. That's going to be the next video. But for now, I wanted to do something that was a little bit more exciting for me. And that's having a, you know, decent sound system. So that way, when we are cruising in it, we can actually enjoy some music. Um, Cause again, when we drove this thing back from Vegas, it had no rate, no speakers. So the radio wasn't working. And yeah, all we got to listen to was the beautiful sounds that the S2000 makes. But let me know what you guys think. Comment down below, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.